morning. My name is Julie Rogerson and I run Julie's Cake in a Box, uh, which is a cake decorating and teaching company in Beverly in East Yorkshire. Um, I just wanted to pop on this morning to let you know about a new online class that I am currently working on. Um, obviously, for those of you who do know me, you will know that I've been running face-to-face -face classes over in my new studio in Beverly in East Yorkshire. Um, for well for probably a couple of years I've been running classes but actually in my studio was just for a year um, I'd only just got started um, early last year with the classes because my studio was brand new and then lockdown started COVID hit um, and obviously the face-to-face -face classes came to a halt we did have a little gap in the summer where I did actually manage to squeeze a couple of classes in as well but other than that um, obviously the classes all had to stop I have a lovely little Facebook community group where I do live demonstrations um, and free tips and tutorials, that kind of thing. Um, but really I needed to do something a little bit more meaty with my time. So I decided to start doing some online classes. Um, I've done two so far uh, which have gone down really, really well. I've also been doing some work with a company called Sugar and Crumbs and I'm teaching some live classes with them now. Um, so I just wanted to quickly pop on today, as I say, I've just released a brand new online class. It's Easter themed, um, doesn't have to necessarily be used for Easter, but the actual, you'll see when I show you the, the toppers, um, they are Easter themed, but can be easily adapted for you to do for other occasions. Um, but I just wanted to pop on and show you, um, there is a special offer on available at the moment as well. So if you keep watching, I will be able to tell you all about that. So I'm just going to quickly, excuse me one second, while I change the camera angle so that you can see the toppers and not me. So there we go. Let me bring them all in. These are what I'm going to be teaching in the class. So there's a range of things. I'm just going to pop that onto the side for a moment. Oops, out of shot. And show you the cake toppers first. So this is a six inch round cake, just so to give you an idea for the size of the cake, just for scale, because obviously when you're looking at it on the computer, you can't necessarily tell what size it is, okay? Um, so first of all, we've got this little girl. So she's wearing cute little bunny ears with the Easter theme. And she's also got a little basket here with some eggs in. Again, you could easily adapt this. Um, she doesn't have to wear the bunny ears, um, but it is a really cute little whimsical girl figure, like a little cartoony style. Um, and she's absolutely gorgeous and adorable. I do love her. It's hard to, to think which one of these is my favourite, to be honest. I love them all. But I would love to know which your favourite is. So as you're watching, please do drop in the comments below and let me know which you like the best. So this is the little girl. I don't have a name for her yet. So again, if anybody's got any suggestions for names that I could call her, I would be um, most grateful. This one here is a gorgeous little Easter chick just popping out of his egg here, look. So again, I've popped it on a six inch round board just so you can see for the size. Um, but again, if you were doing a larger cake, you could quite happily put two or three of these cake toppers together and pop them on a larger cake. Um, so these are made using very simple modeling techniques. Um, a lot of people look at them and worry and think, oh, will I be able to make them? Um, yes, you will. Um, they're really easy. We'll go through it step by step. Uh, you don't need a lot of specialist tools to make them, just a basic modeling kit. Um, but I'd be there to advise you on all of that. Um, so let's pop that to a side. And then I'm just going to bring in the other one. I'm just going to take him off this board here a second. Oops. So this is a cute little Easter bunny. But again, take away the Easter egg and you could use this rabbit for any number of occasions. So obviously don't be put off thinking that they're just for Easter cakes and I'm not making an Easter cake, so it's of no use to me. Again, you can use these for, for any cakes, um, particularly for children's cakes. These would be absolutely fine and totally ideal for um, little children's cakes. Um, so again, these are the three main cake toppers that we're going to be learning. Um, again, the chick and the bunny, they don't have names either. So if anybody is uh, up to naming those, that would be fabulous. Looking forward to hearing any suggestions. Let's decide. Now as a bonus, for those of you who've done my online classes before, you will know that I always like to throw in a little bit extra. So as well as the cake toppers, we're also going to look at making this fabulous cupcake board. So you will learn how to decorate the six different cupcakes. Again, I've themed them to Easter, but having said that, rabbits are not just for Easter. 
carrots you know as i say you can theme these there's only really this one that is for the easter egg that is an actual easter theme and what you can do is ideally if you haven't got many people um to celebrate with obviously at the moment in lockdown it's particularly um useful so there's just six cupcakes on the board here rather than making a whole cake and then you can pop one of your cupcake toppers or your cake toppers rather just in the middle that to the side. there we go so you can see and that just makes a lovely little centerpiece to display your cupcakes on so rather than just popping your cupcakes in a box why not put them on a board decorate it all up and then you've got the best of both worlds so not too many servings um, as if you were making a big cake but equally as impressive and again these are all interchangeable i have actually fastened the chick and the little girl to their cakes and their board so i can't show you but there are photos um, on the website to show you it with the little girl in the center as well instead of the rabbit so again you can swap and change you can theme it up to different ideas so let me quickly tell you a little bit about how this all works so the class is run in a private facebook group now i can see just one second i can see that there's some comments coming in but i can't see them at the moment let me just see if i can scroll down just one second ah there we go Ah, uh, so lots of people liking the chicks, fabulous, and the cupcakes as well, that's brilliant. So as I say, if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments, and if I don't see them now, I will come back to them afterwards and I'll reply to any questions that you may have. So as I was saying, how do you actually access this class? So it's going to be held on the 15th of March, and it's going to be in a private Facebook group. So obviously, only the people who by the class are going to be in that Facebook group with you. So it's another great way to actually make friends with like-minded people. Um, in my Facebook group, we've got lots of brilliant people in there and a lot of them are making really good friendships. So again, within a small group, um, you can do that and share ideas. I'll be in there for support as well. So if you're stuck or you've got any questions, you can ask them during the live class um, or you can tag me in the group at a later date. Um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions then as well. So what happens if you can't make it on the 15th? Let me just change the camera angle. I'm hoping that you've had enough of looking at the toppers. So let me just, I feel a little bit weird talking to you when you can't see my head. So there we go. One second. Oh, hello and I'm back. Um, yes, yeah, so what happens if you can't make it on the 15th of March? Maybe you're working, maybe you're homeschooling, fingers crossed the children will be back at school by then, but if they're not and you're busy that day, don't worry, you can still take the class. All the live classes, um, I'll be doing them in groups. So for instance, I'll do the demonstration of the chick. Um, that will be one separate demonstration on its own, so you can join in with it or watch back at a later date. And all the recordings will be kept in the Facebook group forever. As long as Facebook is running and Facebook allows me to have the Facebook group live, it will stay there. I'm not going to delete it. You won't lose access. Um, as I say, the only way you would lose access to them is if Facebook decides that they're, um, they're closing or something, which I can't see that happening. But as I say, other than that, you will have lifetime access to all the recordings. They will be split into separate figures, as I say, so each cake, to, each cake topper will be filmed separately. So that way you don't have to watch kind of a full day's worth of lives or fast forward through them afterwards to try and find the bit that you want. They will all be separated into separate recordings for each figure and also for the cupcakes as a separate uh, demonstration. So as I said, they will be there forever. You'll be able to access them. So next Easter, Easter 2025, you know, ongoing. Whenever you want to access them, you will be able to get back and watch those recordings and ask me for help. Um, and advice as well. The other great thing is for the three models, so for the little girl, the chick and the bunny, there are also going to be PDF downloads. So step-by-step -step guides with full colour photographs and also written instructions. So if you want to print them out and keep them for reference at a later date, then that would be absolutely fine. They're in there for you as well. And obviously all the materials and equipment lists um, will be in the Facebook group for you to access. But again, I don't, I try to do my classes so that people who don't have huge stocks of cake decorating equipment can access them easily as well. So if I'm using a particular piece of equipment that you don't have, I will always try and make suggestions of other ways that you can achieve the same technique or something very similar using very, very basic tools. 
Um, so don't worry thinking that you've got to buy the class and then buy lots and lots of expensive equipment as well. Not a problem at all, that is not the case. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that. But again, if you've got any questions, please do ask me. You can email me at cakes at juliescakeinabox.co.uk. You can find me on Facebook, obviously on my Facebook page or in my Facebook group. Um, you can message me there. You can find me via my website, which is juliescakeinabox.co.uk. Um, as I say, I'm easily findable. You can track me down, don't worry. Pop me a message or an email across and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So as I promised at the beginning of the live, I do actually have a special offer on at the moment, if you're quick. So normally this class is priced at 29 99 which is still a fabulous price considering the amount of content that is involved and contained within the class. Um, but until the end of February, so until Sunday the 28th of February, I've actually got an early bird discount running and that will allow you to purchase the class for just $24.99. Okay, so as I say, everything that's included in the class you will get. So it's the live demonstrations, the access to the Facebook group where you can stay for as long as you wish. You'll be able to watch all the recordings back as many times as you like. Um, one of the things that some of the students actually do like about that is they can watch the live demonstration on the day and then go back to it another day and actually make it themselves then when there's less pressure. They can stop and pause the video recording, catch up, do the little bit that they're doing or redo a part if they want to um, and then continue watching um, and it makes it a lot easier for you to do that. Um, as much as I do love live classes, um, actual face-to-face -face classes, so I love it when students come to my studio, it's kind of um, a one a one chance. Um, you're there on the day, I'm there telling you what to do, you make your item, and then that's it, you go home. And quite often I find I forget afterwards um, certain parts, certain techniques, some of the things that I've done. So the ideal thing about these online classes is that you can go back time and time again and re-watch them, remind yourself of the techniques that I've used, um, and just have another go with it. So. I'm hoping that you found that useful. I'm just going to show you one last time the little cake toppers that you'll be making. I'm going to have a quick check to see if there are any more comments. So just bear with me one second. Let me see. And I think we're all good with comments now. That's fabulous. But as I say, if you have any other questions, please do ask. Um, either pop a comment on the video or um, like I say, pop for me a message across in the ways that I've already told you. And I would love to welcome you to the class. Um, I really hope that you come and join in and have fun. I've had really good feedback from the previous students with the online classes. Um, some of them are students that have been to my face-to-face -face classes before and they were a little bit wary. They weren't sure whether online would be as good, but actually they've really enjoyed it. Um, and they thoroughly recommend it and they keep coming back for more online classes as well. So as I say, I hope to see you then. And in the meantime, have a lovely day. It's a little bit grey and drizzly over here in Beverly, um, but who knows, fingers crossed it might brighten up. Hope you have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you in the class. Speak to you soon, bye.